Hi everyone. Today I'd like to talk about counting Lucero isogenies between superspecial abelian surfaces. My name is Katsuki Takashima. This is a joint work with Toshiyuki Katsura. This is the agenda of my talk. First, I will briefly review some background materials from cryptography and I will introduce our result and then briefly review a classical result on counting superspecial genus 2 curves and then I will define Lichero isogenies and our main target is counting such isogenies between superspecial abelian surfaces. Isogenies between supersingular elliptic curves give computationally intractable problems even against quantum computers. And based on such intractability, isogeny based crypto like CGL hash, SIDH, PSYC, Seaside Key Exchange are now widely studied as one candidate for post quantum cryptography. As a natural research direction, recently genus 2 isogeny crypto has been studied by several authors, including me, especially Kastrick, DeGru, and Smith showed that superspecial genus 2 curves and their isogeny graphs give a correct foundation for genus 2 isogeny crypto. And more recently, Costello and Smith employed the subgraph whose vertices consist of the composed principally polarized abelian surfaces in their recent cryptanalysis. So, analyzing such graph structure is important in cryptography. Castric et al. also presented concrete algebraic formulas for computing to two isogenies by using the classical visual construction. So such isogenies are also called visual isogenies. This graph is super special visual isogeny graph for small characteristic P, P is equal to 13. This vertex is genus 2 curve C3, and this is a uh, decomposed uh, abelian surface E times E. And this edge indicates uh, Lichero isogeny, and uh, as a codomain, uh, this uh, surface is decomposed, so uh, this uh, Lichero isogeny is called decomposed Lichero isogeny. A theorem in Castric et al.'s paper uh, states that the number of decomposed Lichero isogenies from a genus 2 curve is at most 6, but they do not precisely determine this number. So, uh, more, moreover, their proof is computer aided, that is, uh, it is based on some Grebner basis computation. So, we revisit the isogeny counting problem based on an intrinsic algebraic geometric characterization. Our starting point is explicit counting of superspecial genus 2 curves, which were given by Ibukiyama, Katsura, and Olt over 30 years ago. So this slide shows our result. Based on the classical result, we give a new characterization of the composed Lichero isogenies from a genus to curve C in terms of long element in the reduced automorphism group. So long element as uh, some special element and such notion uh, I will define later. Based on the characterization, we give a precise count of Lichero isogenies up to isomorphism for each reduced group RAC. And this result not only implies another algebraic geometric proof of Theorem 3 in Castricator's paper, but also our characterization allow 
fine counting. So it shows the number of decomposed Richelieu isogenies up to isomorphism is at most two. Combining uh, with the classical uh, IKO result, we also count the total number of Richelieu isogenies up to isomorphism. And compared with IKO result, while they count the total number of vertices of the super special Richelieu isogeny graphs, our result is considered as the edge counting in such cryptographically interesting graphs. So we note that very recently, Jordan and Zeitelman proves uh, the connectivity of such graphs. So I will define super special abelian surfaces. Let small k be an algebraically closed field of uh, positive characteristic p. p is greater than 5. An abelian surface A is said to be super special if A is isomorphic to a product of two super singular elliptic curves, E1 times E2. And uh, in, interestingly, in higher genus case, so we have an isomorphism, this one, for any super singular elliptic curves E1, E2, E3, E4. So this notion of super speciality does not depend on the choice of super singular elliptic curves. For a non-singular projective genus to curve C, we denote by ZC the canonically polarized Jacobian variety. The curve C is said to be super special if the Jacobian is super special at an abelian surface. So from this fact, uh, all super special abelian surfaces are isomorphic to each other without considering a polarization. So understanding principal polarization is important in cryptography. Since a non-singular genus to curve C is hyperelliptic, so C has the hyperelliptic involution iota, and uh, we put RA C is a factored group of automorphism by iota, and we call this group the reduced group of automorphisms. And an element of this group is also called a reduced automorphism. And for an uh, element sigma uh, in this group, sigma tilde is an element of automorphism group such that sigma tilde modulo iota is equal to sigma. So this definition is important for our counting. An element sigma of order two is said to be long if uh, sigma tilde is O also of order 2. Otherwise, it is said to be short. This definition of long and shortness does not depend on the choice of uh, this lifted element, a sigma tilde. And as is well known, the structure of reduced automorphism group is classified as these uh, seven types of finite groups. So for each of seven types of finite groups, uh, the number of genus to super special curves were counted by in IKO paper, and such number is denoted by NI, and uh, this here from N0 to N6 are listed uh, 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 explicitly. And also N denotes the number of such curves, total number of such curves, and N is the summation from N0 to N6. And explicitly, 
it is given by this cubic polynomial of the characteristic P. So I will define a Ricero isogenies. And before that, I remind you of a simple uh, classification of principally polarized abelian surface. So uh, such surfaces are classified into two types or two cases. In the first case, uh, there exists a non-singular curve C of genus 2, and A is isomorphic to JC. And C gives a principal polarization on this surface, and this case is called non-decomposed. And in the second case, uh, there exist uh, two elliptic curves, E1 and E2, and A is isomorphic to this uh, product. And this divisor gives a uh, principal polarization on the surface, and uh, this case is called decomposed, and we denote by this simple notation for the divisor, uh, this one. So, uh, we will define Lichero isogenies. Let G is isomorphic G2 times G2, and which is a maximal isotropic subgroup of the two torsion point with respect to the Bayeu pairing. Uh, we have a quotient homomorphism pi from A to this quotient surface, and by the standard descent theorem, there exists a divisor C prime on this surface with this uh, linear equivalence. So we know that C prime is a principal polarization on this surface, and again, using this uh, classification, C prime is either a non singular genus 2 curve or uh, this form, uh, split form of two elliptic curves. So, uh, this correspondence of principally polarized abelian surface from this one to this one is called a Lichero isogeny. And it is called decomposed if C prime consists of two elliptic curves. Otherwise, it is called non decomposed. So, if there exists a Lichero isogeny from this one to this one, then uh, there exists a reverse direction or a dual Lichero isogeny from this one to this one. And by definition, since pi is separable, if A is super special, then uh, this surface is also super special. So this definition is important for our counting. Uh, for two Lichero isogeny, pi and bar phi, uh, if uh, we have automorphism sigma and isomorphism z, and this diagram commute, and this uh, numerical equivalence relation hold. And so uh, these two Lichero isogenies are isomorphic. So I will state our result from now on. First, this proposition shows that some characterization of decomposed Lichero isogenies. And for genus 2 curve C, uh, the following three conditions are equivalent. First one is C has a decomposed Lichero isogeny from JC. And the second one, RAC, has an element of order 2. And the third one, RAC, has a long element of order 2. As a corollary, we have the second important proposition here. For a genus 2 curve C, among 15 Lichero isogeny from JC, the number of decomposed Lichero isogenies is equal to the number of long element of reduced automorphism group of order 2. So we denote the set of such long element by LC and uh, we count uh, what determines such uh, cardinality of the set. So this same table shows such cardinality uh, for 
every uh, reduced automorphism groups. So the cardinality is 0, 1, 3, 2, 4, 6, 0, and maximal uh, is uh, 6. And also we give an uh, explicit form of uh, genus to curve uh, like that. And also a uh, long element is described uh, by explicit form of linear transformation, a fractional linear transformation on the x coordinate. So our characterization allow a fine uh, counting, racial isogenic counting. So uh, I will define uh, the fact uh, by uh, using a small example, that is the characteristic P is equal to seven. So the graph has just two vertices, uh, genus to curve C and the composed abelian surface here. And from C, four Richard isogenies are there, and this isomorphism class has six elements, four elements, four elements, one element. So the total is 15 elements. Such information is encoded this uh, symbols, simple notation, and this is called local type. And for all seven types, of uh, reduced automorphism group, we list up all the uh, uh, we list up corresponding uh, local types. This proposition and uh, combining the classical IKO result, uh, we count the total number of Richel isogenies from JC and uh, the formula is given this one, and explicitly given by this uh, cubic polynomial of the characteristic P. So for the detail, uh, please uh, refer to our paper, and we also give the number of Richello isogenies up to isomorphism from a decomposed uh, super special abelian surface, the number are both of local type and the total number of such isogenies uh, we count in our paper. So I remind you that our original motivation is in cryptography and our result clarified uh, for some concrete situation on the composed Richel isogenies. And I think it gave a firm understanding of such graph for genus isogen crypto. And moreover, further application of our result uh, to crypto is left as an open problem, I think. And for example, a very recent cryptoanalytic algorithm by Costello Smith is an interesting target. They propose a new isogen pathfinding algorithm in the super special Richel isogen graphs. And we hope that our new characterization can be applied to analyzing and improving the Costello Smith attack. So that concludes my talk today. Thank you for your attention. And uh, here are references, uh, this one and this one. So thank you.